Hey you guys, this is Robert Country Cooking. I will be making a simple cheese manicotti tonight. Um, it's going to have ricotta cheese, uh, two eggs, uh, salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, and parsley flakes. I was going to try and get the real parsley, but I had some complications, so I just got the parsley flakes to mix them with the ricotta cheese tonight. Um, and we'll go from there. I also have the salsa and I have the mozzarella as well. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup and a half of the ricotta cheese right here. And I'm going to put this in here if I can get it to come out. Let me get me some, you guys. Lop, there it goes. And I'm going to take a Let me get a bigger spoon, you guys, and I'm just going to take spoon by spoon here. There's one, two, three, four. Five and a quarter of them. Okay, I don't want to blow nobody's ears up on YouTube right now. Um, so we're going to take that. You can eat it, do whatever you want to with it. Let's give him, I guess, does that. He likes for cheese. Um, she was like, what the heck is that? So, after I do that, I'm going to. Take my salt, my pepper, as you see here. I'm just gonna add that to it. Okay. You just want like a dash of salt and pepper. Don't want to put a lot to it. Right here, right here, look. Right. And as far as your um, parmesan, I've got quite, I've got quite a bit of parmesan in here, as you see. And I'm gonna put all that in there. And go pick one, two, three, four heaping spoons. Okay, the rest of this I'll use to put like on top as a, what do you call that? Manicotti, Manicotti. you guys. <laughs> Hit me out, Doug. What is Manicotti. it? Manicotti. Manicotti, y'all. Sounds like man, then piccotti. And then we will take some parsley flakes. Two eggs, two beaten eggs, remember? And we'll take the parsley flakes. What is parsley supposed to do in a dish? Well, this is just for the the ricotta. This is a Q&A section of the video, y'all. Yeah. Questions and answers, if any of y'all know what, don't know what Q&A means. I would hope. Give questions and answers. Yeah, it's the chef a question and you can Okay, we're gonna take probably mm, I usually put about three or four sprinkles of parsley in the mountain. That much to cover up the mountain. That's gonna be about four four tablespoonful. And um The lady we saw said to put spinach in it and she drained it in the water, but we're not following her recipe exactly. Yeah, I'm not following that recipe. We're only half of it. We're leaving out this I'm making my own recipe. It's what I'm doing. We're How just, you doing? We're making it, but we're just leaving out the spinach. We're not Popeye. I see. I'm going to use... There you go. Olive oil and sweet pea right here. The blue though. One. I'm just you know what you guys I think I'll use one. Now if I use the rest of this ricotta, I could probably pick two. But I'm just gonna use one. It's safe right though. Yeah. Now after do that, I'm gonna take 
The mozzarella. We have to add mozzarella to this too, guys. Now I got it. Okay. My chihuahua is like cover him up with the sauce. Begging me for this. She loves this bacon work. This is cheese. One. I'm making that noise, guys, but just do that. It gets the dog inside it. <laughs> it she does. She's hyper when she hears food. She's a pig. I swear she was a miniature pot belly pig. I swear. <laughs> and then we'll go pick one more, and that's it. I was like, good lord, is it cheese? You won't be hungry, would you, Jelly Bean? This is really. I really don't pick out on cheese with Doug a lot, but tonight we want a manicotti, so. He wanted something special to eat. And he hasn't had manicotti in a long time. I've been craving it. And I said, well, if my baby wants a manicotti, my baby's getting manicotti. Anyway, we're going to let that down. Let me get my cover for my mixer. I will be having a big old mess. That over that. Is that a song called Edge of What? And I gotta put it on number two. Well, I will when I get it plugged up, right, you guys? <laughs> Don't fling everything everywhere like you did that cream one time. Oh my god, that's crazy. That was a mess. Yes. That's I like think a this baker is slaughtered a cake or a pie. A pie mixture. Okay, y'all, let me see it. Here. There we go. Okay, two more teaspoons and that's all no more. So four at six teaspoon. Use the camera you guys. Okay, after we get that done, I'm going to slide it back, and I'm going to move this up so you guys can peek. I'm going to take this plastic card off. He dug his foot to yummy. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, 
And we're gonna have some yummy garlic bread with this. That garlic bread is quite good. I just tried a couple pieces in the oven. Look at her, a wife of me. She's begging for She ate the whole man of Connie noodle. And she licked my spoon. Put that back in the fridge. She licked my spoon clean. Bridge. Yeah, in the package. Okay, what I'm going to do, y'all, give me some time here. Gotta make a little room on my counter. I'm gonna take my, mm, take my bow off. Got 14 eggs my goodness. Alexa, what's 18 plus 14? 18 plus 14 is 32. We got 32 eggs left. Excuse the camera. That's pretty dang good. Yeah, you got quite a bit. We haven't had that many eggs in a while. Okay, I'm gonna throw that over there. Yeah. You can ask Alexa anything. She's I'm like quite a, eligible. I do like. I used to do when I would cook in the kitchen, you guys. On my paper and stuff, I just thought. Sometimes, though, ex Alexa can be aggravating and stupid. See, she answered you for no reason. I just tell him about Alexa. She'll do things well, you don't ask her to do. AI, once you figure. Okay, now I'm going to let you guys look over here because I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the counter over here. I apologize. I'm trying to get that black thing out of the way. I'm really not working with the best equipment here. So I'm <laughs> trying to make it a pretty vision for you guys to see whatever I'm doing. Okay, we're going to be using this to put our ricotta cheese in, our filling. And. And I'm going to. Thank you, Doug. And I'm going to be using the counter right here for this pan. Because I got to fill our pan with our ricotta. How are you doing? Fill this baggie. If you don't have a popping bag, you can use a baggie. Like I've got here, you can use a baggie and cut it in. Out. And it will fill your ricotta cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. Into your and we'll fill your ricotta cheese, you guys. I'll get it out here in a second. And we'll fill your ricotta <laughs> and put your ricotta cheese into your little noodle. So. That's what I'm working on. Let me put the work card up. Let me put this back over here, y'all. Lord help me. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm busy. I can't back. And I'm going to go here. And first of all, let me get the thing so I can handle this better, y'all. He 
thinks I'll run a marathon while I'm trying to do one thing. He doesn't mean it, but... You can only do one thing at a time. A good up. thing or a bad thing? Good thing. It's been lightening up where I can see more and more light in there. I can actually see my kind of my hand moving in my right eye a little bit. Before I can see squat vividly. I can see light and shadow. I gotta keep watching that video, see if it does any more improvements. Wonder how long it takes to work. They said it's a very powerful frequency. Okay, Dad, bring me my pan, honey. The glass? The glass one? I'm gonna try and do this one side, y'all. Uh -huh. Yeah, just oh. set it right there, Dad. Let me turn off the oven. Or leave it on. I haven't ever made, uh-oh. I haven't ever made ricotta before, y'all. Yeah, it's kinda tricky. And it, so please forgive me. This bag is not working. Hold on just a minute. I cannot do this. Um, I'm gonna lay that right there before I do anything Glass. else. That mix is not that bad though. Okay, Lord, you're going to have to help me tonight. What happened to that little tube, plastic tube with the thing to the turkey baster? You want to try the turkey baster? <laughs> oh my gosh, that would not work. No. Yeah, I think it would squeeze, the air would squeeze it out. Uh-uh, no. Um, y'all put some in the comments below it, to what would work with, uh, Minicotti the next time because I've seen this online, that's why I'm doing it, but the, the thing, the problem I'm having is that there's two holes here, and one of them needs to be blocked, and I don't know how far in the main economy. Right over the pants so don't leak out in the counter. It kind of spreads apart. Like what's your name says on Djibouti Bubs. I'm shaking. I had a real bad seizure, y'all, before I started tonight. Wasn't that lady cooking it and filling it with a spoon? Mm. Wasn't she stuffing it with a spoon? Well, I'm I think that's what she was doing. She was what now? She was stuffing her with a spoon. Well, if we had to, that's what we'd do, you two. That side is kind of a trick. Okay, so let's get this out. Wash my hands, y'all. I'm a very big hands wash that. Okay, you said what now, Doug? I'm saying, you kind of one of those little bitty things that work. A little bit, Doug. Help me out. Or on YouTube. You gotta help me here. Turkey basters? That is not gonna work. We don't have one. Who <laughs> would work? We're in a crisis, y'all. I'm sorry. Just take the spoon and hold it open and fill it. Let it drizzle in there. I kind of already thought about doing that. It's going to get in the pan, y'all, if I do it that way. But you know what? Who cares? Everybody's different. This is my first time making manicotti, so I'm not no professional chef. So if nobody don't, no, it's fine. If nobody don't. Mark it, I'm sorry. Just stuff it in there. Like Kathy said. You and Chef Larry D's fine. <laughs> you know what she said? I don't know who you're talking about. The dumb lady. Who is that? They make fun of them to be buzz. No, but really, who is that? The dumb cake lady. Who Kathy. is it? Kathy, the dump cake lady, dump dinner. Oh, Bring her? Dump everything in there. Mm. And throw it in the oven. Mm. She might have been promoted, so she 
to give her word. Okay, that actually worked, Doug. I told you. I didn't. Okay. You gotta have good ideas sometimes. Of course you did. You always have. Of course I do. My husband all the time figuring something out, y'all. Of course it's a good idea. No, no, come okay. here and do your husband another favor and open this. Uh, shake it up for me, dear. You're too sure. funny. You got to take your boobies. Oh. Can you get it? No, it's too. I'll set this down in the too pan, y'all. Oh, God, it's hard. The, the glass jar is hard, not something else. Okay, I'm going to pour this in the pan. Yeah. Cover it. That worked good. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is going to be good. Yeah, cover yeah, it. Yeah, I'm cheap. Lay it in there and then put the cheese on top. Put the sauce on top and put more cheese on top. <laughs> this is Walmart Manicotti. <laughs> Who cares? You know what I mean? Crap. Just like that thing that stuff. If y'all don't like it, don't watch. <laughs> Uh, change the channel. Or don't eat it. Don't eat our recipe. But you know what? I have to admit, y'all. Some of the food that is all tore all the crab and messed up is the best food you will ever eat. You don't have to be professional. And I'm happy my husband helped me work this out. But leave in the comments below, seriously. Yeah, the spoon worked better than the bag. It really did. Well, the thing with that bag, I had too much. In it. No, well that and the bag, you know, at the bottom it uh, had four little corner ends or two little corner ends yeah, and met. Right. And so when I snipped it, it had two holes yeah. instead of having one hole. So that was the issue, number one. <clears throat> and so I'm going to spread this out on the uh, bottom here. Oh God, that smells so good, yummy. Because we can't be using that all the time. We don't do that. We don't share our utensils with the animals. No, we don't. While we're cooking, especially. We're not that nasty. Okay. Some people probably Our won't. animals, anyway, eat off paper plates as well as uh, plastic. Y'all, I've always heard, though, an animal's mouth is cleaner than a human, anything on a human. And dogs are Okay, Doug, we're going to... Why don't I get another spoon? Then we're going to fill another one. Pray that this goes well. My neighbor once told me if you ever notice after a dog licks your hand and you've got a cut or anything on it, it heals faster. Okay, so Have here's you number that? two. Have you ever noticed that? It does when I was a little boy. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. I'll be dang my eye. It's lightening up on that side. I can see more light now. That's a good thing, I guess. I guess that video really does work. I wonder why it makes those frequencies work. It cleans the hills cataracts. And that's exactly what I got. And damn, my doctor won't help me. What do you think so far, Doug? Mm -hmm. You proud of the manicotti? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give it up hope of it just kind of like, what is going on? I'm here getting discouraged a bit. A little bit. Can't give up. Because like, I don't want my up. manicotti. <laughs> you got to crack a few eggs before you make an omelet. Or break a few eggs, however that saying goes. True. Well, we was going to eat it if I had to. I think to make some kind of tube, you can just stuff that in a manicotti shell and just load it with a... You know what I have? Squeeze it out. I have that orange thing under my cabinet, you know, for deviled eggs. Uh-huh. But I'm not I getting under my work. cabinet right now, and you it looks like dirty. a nightmare. Huh? You think that would work, though? Oh, I know it would. Yeah, 
I got you that off of Amazon, didn't I? A long time ago. Yeah. Or eBay. One of the two. One of the two. I'm going to put number two in there, y'all. They turned all the hell, though. They didn't even want to help me when my router got stolen off the porch. I had to look up the name of the company and the telephone number of the company and call the company itself that made the router. And call them in some man in Texas or Oklahoma answered the phone. And we said, where'd you order the router off of? I ordered it off, the web, off of eBay. And he said, yeah, sorry about that. He said, I can help you, though. He said, when was it stolen? How much did you pay for it? I said, I, he said, I need proof you bought it off of eBay. I said, I can send you a snapshot, and I did. And he said, he, he sent me another one. I don't know where it is now, though. Do you know where it's at? Yeah, it's in our room under the bed. If we ever need it, we could use it to probably fix that doorstep. Because we're going to have to route out that doorstep about four inches to get that new door in. Yeah. Because it's a little bit too, four inches too tall. It's 76, the doorway open, and the door is 80 inches tall. So we're oh, gonna ask YouTube how the weather is wherever they're at there. We're going to have to do quite a cut. cut. How's y'all's this weather since Doug didn't hear me? <laughs> y'all have a good weather wherever you're at? I hope so because we're talking about severe weather again. They say Arkansas, rain, it rains a lot there. It's real gloomy. Mm. Kind of like England. They had a bad w a winter this year. Arkansas did. I mean, not Arkansas, uh, Oregon, I mean. Oregon, it rains a lot. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Now they do have sunny and nice weather sometimes though and the scenery is beautiful in Oregon. That's where I want to move. Oregon. Didn't you say there was a lot of Bigfoot up there? I don't believe in that. <clears throat> Didn't your cousin say she, uh, what was her name? I don't know though. There's Did been so much bull crap talk about that. Did huh? you say she's seen some things up there in Oregon driving through? There in her tractor trailer? Oh, she started screaming and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, they got a lot of coyotes up there. Yeah, they do. 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 Yeah, area. I didn't know they had a lot of mountains. I thought it I was think North Georgia and North Carolina is pretty, too. Mm -hmm. Hilton Head. I like Hilton Head. I love Hilton Head coast, east coast. Their their beach is beautiful. It, the sand, look, I kid you not, that sand is as white as that stove almost, honey. Mm -hmm. It is blinding when it's really bright outside and you're running down the beach. It's almost blinding because the sand is like crystal white. I mean, almost as white as paint. I mean, that beach is pristine. Nicer than any beach I've seen anywhere. Most beaches are kind of nasty looking and brown looking. But this one is... No wonder nobody never takes care of the earth no more. This one is clean and white and nice looking. And the sand is so hot. And my mom liked to burn her dang feet when we were walking out to the parking lot. Had to run for the shower. And from the shower, That's we had heavy. to run to the car because it was still hot. And she had... My poor mom is There's four finally, y'all. My poor mom is trying to... My hands look a mess. The store to buy flip-flops at. We finally found this shoe store somewhere. I only washed my hands again. And we bought some flip-flops. Because our feet could not take that. These are going to be good, girl, after they're cooked about 20 years. I'll tell you what, hell and heck, it's hot in this summertime. The concrete, oh my God. We like to burn our dang feet. We had to run to the shower. Are you going to do us a good old taste test? Yeah. That's like a manicotti is my favorite. Is it really? Yes, it's good. I love it more than lasagna. Seriously? Manicotti, oh yes, manicotti is better than lasagna. Wait till you taste the final product. Oh my God. All the cheese in it, oh um, my. It just melts in your mouth. Oh my God. We told you two the other day we don't use a lot of cheese and milk. So we, lie. we don't use a lot of cheese and milk for real, y'all. Actually, we do. When we make Italian and break down Italian, we do. Okay. Sometimes I can't 
Or is this it? <laughs> I mean, who can? You can't resist to tell you. Awesome, like a manicotti. A manicotti. Cause good. being for real though, he is diabetic, so we try and behave ourselves. My family is mostly Irish and English, but on my aunt's side, she was the one that got me like an Italian food, and she was from Italy. Really? Her ancestry, yeah. Her last name is Spano. That's Spanish. Oh yeah, that's and right. She's from Italy. She's the one I met. She was a yeah, sweetheart. Like, she didn't have no problem with anybody. She loved everybody. She like gay people especially. She said, "Oh, you're such a sweet." I know when she met me. She's like, "Girl, she's like, you're such a sweetheart." John Moeller <laughs> yeah. was her neighbor. She talked about all the time that was gay. Mm -hmm. The one that handled my inheritance. Yeah. From her. He was the gay neighbor she always talked about that lived behind her. Oh, those two queers behind me, they always watch my, I always watch their little dog and it's so sweet. She watched her dog, or she babysat her dog. Yeah. She said it was cute. And she said it was a little cocker spaniel. She said that was one of the best behaved dogs. That didn't make a mess in her house or nothing. And it has to go outside. She had wiener dogs. She kept cocker spaniels in her house. She had a litter of six at one time. That's where we got our old dog, Fella, from. We had a dog named Fella. He was a cocker spaniel. He was a wiener dog. We called him Fella. Oh, really? Yeah, we couldn't find him one day. He got, a, got out and got missing. We drove up the street trying to find him. We finally found him at my friend's house in the garage, eating on something. His dad had to put out some dog food for it. And he was eating dog food in Stephen's garage. He made it to Stephen's house. I thought we had more manicotti made than that. There, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Not only six, I thought we had 10. Yeah, there's plenty of here. I got more minutes. How many are you gonna put in there, 10? Girl, I'm going to fill the pan up. Are you getting on to me? manicotti cheese? Yes. I was just wondering. Girl, like he's getting on to me over here. It looked like you were running out of shells. He, he's like, starting to raise cane. Yesterday, he was mad because he was Walmart. His, he, he, Lord he, help us. He was the best little cocker spaniel. He was an old dog. He got to be an old man, man though. My mom had to have him cut down, though. Why? Like Betty did, because he was old. Really? He was sneaking up the house. He was old. Mm. He was just getting too old. He they can't help it. He was suffering. But she had to have him put down. She was so sad when that didn't happen. Or she found him bed. I can't remember what happened. He was old. He was very old. And Betty was a sweet He had had him about when, we, when I was born. We I had several dogs. Cookie. We had a bird dog. Time. That was the most hyperactive dog. My mom had to get rid oh of it. Oh my god, man, we had to get rid of our, uh, what was She had to get rid of Daisy, the she was a wild thing. Yeah, she was. She knocked over a cup of cigarette ashes one day. We were trying to catch roaches in. And she knocked it off the table. That dog would get into anything. It was hyperactive. It would eat bugs and chase bugs all the time now. That dog was we no longer live in that house, dog. That was a nasty neighborhood. Yeah. They ran from trailer to trailer. The bugs were bad over there. The Can we change the subject, yeah. please? But that was a crazy I'm dog. She was, she was a silly dog, but she was sweet. She was a pretty dog. What was she? Okay, I'm going to put some Parmesan on. What was Daisy? Top of this. What kind of dog was Daisy? Was she a chihuahua or? A she was a uh, a rat terrier. Yeah, I didn't remember what kind of dog she was, but she was silly. She was a lovable dog at the same time, but she was a little Ooh, bit hyper. Just hyper. She reminded me of uh, Maria that passed in the same month. I miss her. I miss Bruce still. I nearly had him in my hand, but he ran out past me. If I could just grab the scuff of his neck, I would have had him. And I was going to grab it, squeeze him, make sure he got him, then get out. 
Got seven more. I told you, baby, I had more. You're gonna have to have a whole nother can of sauce and probably that one. I told you. To cover it in, we're gonna have to have a whole bag of mozzarella cheese. We got plenty of cheese, though. Look yeah. at this fridge, look. Look at how I arranged it, see it? Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, look better. In fact, let me move some of these. I gotta move My hands are so funny. I love them so much. Okay, I'm still filling the That's better. Uh, That's much better. little shells with my cheese, you guys. And then I call it cheese. I, get, I think this is the kind of food that you wait so long to fix. <laughs> By the time you're done cooking it or fixing it, you're starved and you want to eat. <laughs> Hey, you remember when we went for your birthday and we went, we waited and waited and waited and waited? Yeah, we sure damn did. And when we finally got our food, Ruth was like, it's about time. Uh -huh. Bless her heart. She's so hungry. Her mom was a beautiful woman. She's beautiful, hey, this so. Hummus is heavy. Huh? This hummus is heavy. I hate this sour cream. I like that it's easy to cook with. It's hard to stand up. Look at their fridge and how hot organized it is in the bottom. Look at that. Tell me that ain't a lot of room. That's one thing I can do is organize a fridge. Next, I gotta buy the pieces. Okay, so there's there. another one, guys. I gotta order the pieces to fix the main fridge. Next, I'm gonna put the milk on the bottom. Seven here is number eight. The blue milk in the bottom. The Get some more corn. Why not? Might as well. It's, today's a Saturday night, ain't it? Yeah, look at I'm sorry, baby. I called you down with me, Doug. Does that look better? Does that fridge look better like that? See that? Oh, yeah, it actually does. It's more organized, huh? I hope my subscribers know that I love you guys, and y'all mean a lot to me. Thank you for your uh, for everybody that has subscribed to me so far. It means a million. And next year or two, I'm probably going to be in a different location. I'm probably going to be in Oregon. Doug, I was going to let you know. What are we going to do when we get 1,000 subscribers? Do you want me to do something to you or what do you want to do? I'll do something to you. So we, what do you want to do? We got to get a cake or... For the thousand subscribers or what? To celebrate. Yeah, we could do something like that. I could blow sour cream on you through a bellow. Well, you could do that. <laughs> squirt it on your face all over you. You know what a bellow is, right? The fireplace that blows the embers. Yeah, that would be cute. Something, Stuff you know, with cooking. Sour cream and blow everything on you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> something due to cooking, you know. Yeah. Food fight me or something. Where we wanted to do a cold ice water challenge. Look, y'all, whatever, if y'all want him to do something, if y'all want him to do something to me related to cooking or something like that. Y'all, I know the ice bucket challenge is old news by now, though. Uh, tell me what you want Doug to do to if me. You want a pie in his face or something? Yeah, something or. Something funny like Three Stooges, pie in the face Three Stooges. Yeah, or Stop. whatever, just let me know in my comments That's so my I can see. That's my favorite episode of Three Stooges where they get in that pie fight. I love Three Stooges. That is They're so crazy. funny. I like the one where he was in that knight's outfit. And he goes, oh, wise guy, huh? <laughs> and he tries to poke him in the eye. And he does this. Look, he does this to block it. But he did it where how he always tried to poke him in the eye. Oh, yeah, he did that. Do that. Block, he went, nah, nah, nah. Curly's my favorite, the fat one. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to you, dude. Nah, Lord. Nah, 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 nah. I like it when he gets mm, like that and gets mad. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. I love three stews. You're watching me like a hotline. Yeah, I like Yosemite Sam too. That lady put the more sauce on Wash the top. Wash my hands again. She put more sauce on the top and then she put more cheese on the top. I know how to cook. Uh, you want me to get you a bag, other bag of cheese? 
Oh, I got one over here. And the mozzarella. No, I have mozzarella over here. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm gonna let you come over here and put some cheese on it. Any manicotti left? Can I have some? No, I gotta have that. Here. Come here and cheese it for me. So, use the rest put of the this. sauce first. Put the sauce on top of that. It's best to put the sauce on it. Maybe jelly bean. Open it for me. Yeah. And then put the cheese on top. And you layer the cheese like you do with the enchiladas. And spread it out good with a spatula or a spoon. Get the get the oh, spoon right. and spread it. It's when I washed. Here, use this. Turn up. Be easy. You're Easy, you, Doug. Or you want me to pat him on the butt with a spatula? Something Quit like that. Quit shaking the camera. Thousand bees to pat him on the butt with a spatula. I want that to go over that area. There you go. I mean, it really doesn't matter because it's going to all cook together anyhow, but I'm just picky about my cooking. I like to be thorough when I that. cover something. Hmm. I like to be thorough when I cover something with sauce. I don't like it to be dry. Well, we just ran out of that. We're gonna put it in the bottle. And yeah, put another bottle here. Here, that's the first one. layer. Here, use that cheese on there. I didn't know if we would need that. Oh, I got a ballot. I need another bag. Of what? Lots of stuff. It's right Cover up there. This whole thing. Watch this phone. Where is it's it? right up there on there. Dang. Can you open this for me? Yeah. I knew you were going to ask that. I don't care to do it. Yeah, I'm sorry it's a 41 minute video, but it's worth it. Let me sprinkle it. I'm being afraid to leave my hands. Get them dirty. Doug's behind the camera, so he's working while Doug greedy. watches the camera. Don't be greedy with the cheese. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm having to direct him not to hit the camera. I don't like the camera shaking, so if it's shaking, I'll I need a third thing bag if I tell you the truth. No, you don't need all of that. Okay, slow down, sir. I'm going to cover that area. That I don't want to leave no area uncovered. It's a little bit. You know you're diabetic, right? I don't know, man. Come on. I got it. Got her done. Yeah, you got her done, all right, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna get a bite of this ricotta. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad you had a separate spoon. Mm. That's good. Okay, finish these needles. Move jelly bean, move before you trip me. Please. Give me, please, honey, get out of the kitchen. Again, my way that wash off is hot enough. I need to be in the stove. Okay, now I got to hurry up and get these nails done because I got to get this in the oven. Okay, y'all, he got that on there yeah, for us. Before you trip me, don't go in between my legs when I'm walking. Yeah, we've both been kind of uneasy today. Very I'm all week because of my balance. condition. My legs. And I had a seizure, so. Before I came on, y'all. I want a bad one. It's a small one, but every one that I have is a good news. Yeah, not good. I've had them since I was two. Be good just like that. You know, have to put another layer of sauce on there, and that cheese will melt it and be going brown. It kind of reminds me of a spaghetti, although it's not. You know, because of the noodles and stuff. Yeah, it kind of in a way is. But it's a lot easier. You just stuff the shells. And just saying there's mozzarella in this uh, ziti sauce, or whatever you want to call it. 
Yeah, I'm a funny cook. I'm sorry. I'm, co I'm comedian. Like a comedian. I've heard a lot of that. Um, they say like that alien movie where they eat rats. What? Yeah, they were eating rats and beef. The TV show, that's what the aliens ate on the show. Diana. Diana was the leader. She was a mean bitch on that show. Beef. <laughs> Doug. You know, I told him I never saw that show, y'all. They never knew what they were until she was until somebody ripped off her face one day. Ew. TV broadcast. I'm trying to cook, Doug. You they, talk about they rats. Knew the, they knew the t truth about her. They ripped her you face and back off. And revealed, she, and they revealed she was a lizard. I have to show you that TV show, the old 80s version. The old 80s version was better. I seen one, but I never watched it. It was at least. I can't remember when. It's not been too, too long back. Probably in about 1983, 1984. No, Alexa. this one was back in 2000, I think. That was a new one. Alexa. When was V, when did V the TV show air? Here are a few movies playing near Stockbridge today. Shazam. Fury of the Gods. Scream by. Creed 3. That ain't what I asked. Cocaine Bear. If you'd like Alexa, to hear more. Stop. Alexa, I asked when the TV show V was aired first. I'm having trouble hearing. Can you say that again? Alexa. Just leave it alone, Doug. She's getting on my nerves. I'll look it up on my computer. Please do. I know it was 1980-something. It was like about 84 or 83. You couldn't hear nothing. It was about the same year as Knight Rider. Although she listens in on your conversation. I can I hear think, that. I think Knight Rider was predicting Tesla back then. I do too. You do? Self-driving cars? Mm-hmm. Sure do. Yeah. I think I got just enough That video I've uh, seen of that man programming his Tesla to bark, make barking sounds when he's her honey. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> uh, you talking about... That was hilarious. Everybody kept looking at the car like, did that car just bark? You talking about that stuff you showed me the other yeah, day on a short? The yeah, he programmed the Tesla's computer to fart every time he turned. Oh my goodness. He put it on the loudspeaker. That crazy man that walks around farting is funny. He freaks people out all the time. <laughs> He'll be at Walmart or the library or Home Depot or anywhere. And this one lady, this black lady, she was... Right directly behind him, she was kind of heavy set. She backed into him accidentally and scared him, and he farted. <laughs> he said, oh, "I'm sorry, man, I farted. I get a fart when I get scared." And they started both laughing together. It was hilarious. But she was sweet. She didn't even get mean with him. A lot of those people get mean with you when you do do that to them. They'll cuss you out in public. They don't care. They can be mean as heck. This one guy pulled a gun on somebody for doing that on the video. Did you know that? He said, I had a gun pulled on me for partying on something. Well, that's sure, why you don't do stuff Sure like enough, that. he did that, and then the guy pulled out a gun. Okay, Doug, I don't care about all that. It's funny. No, that's not funny. There's one guy named Derek that does that on YouTube. Drop it. It's a channel about uh, cooking, not about violence. So leave it at that. Okay, y'all. I've got two more noodles to do. That, that lid on that dang jar was hard to remove. Can't even twist it off. My hands are just weaker. I gotta build up my strength so I can play guitar better again. Oh, Y'all, if you're all hearing me burp, I always say excuse me.
jelly bean. Come here. Let me fix your ear. Let me fix your Her ear is inside out, y'all. I have to help the dog fix her ear. Her ears get turned inside out sometimes. And you have to straighten them. There you go, jelly bean. Okay, girl. Is that better? Why does her ear get stuck like that? It's always that way. And it's always been that since she was a baby. Yeah, no. Your hair's always been that, you poor girl. She literally yeah. acted like she had fun earlier. Did she? Yeah. When? What did she do? You know, when me and her went and and she got her puppy shower. Yeah. After she got a shower. Yeah. And look. <laughs> she went in there and jumped on the bed. And she probably fell Rolled her. under the cover with me. And she was. Right a, off. Uh, no. She was snoring. And I thought I heard you snoring. I rolled over and it was her. Yeah, I've done that before. I was like, she is she literally snoring. snoring. Our dog snores, y'all. Jelly Bean, the mother chihuahua, she snores loud. She'll wake you up. It sounds like a human. And be right in your ear. And she's like right behind me. And you'll look at her, wake her up, and she'll look at you like, what? What did I do? I ain't done nothing. What it's you gonna do? Huh. <laughs> kind of deal. She'll be in bed and do something else, and you'll be like, ooh, what is that, Jelly Bean? And you know what she did? It doesn't smell too good. She'll look at you like all innocent and get up and go to the other side of the bed and leave you with it. The smell. Dogs are so funny. They're almost semen. What semen like? Aren't you jelly bean? You can't help it. Uh, well, it's good, don't jelly bean. She's waiting for that. I've got just uh, for one more. This is the last one, you guys. Finally. Let's take my back to her. That takes forever. So this will be once in a year dish for you guys. So enjoy it. as hard as I thought it would be to stuff with a spoon. Can I have the rest of that manicotti out here, guys? No. But you're going to eat dinner. Like you're like a kid. I like the clean the vanilla frosting out. And the well, your vanilla frosting is going in Plus, the sink. I like to lick the ladle or whatever. Yeah, I have to be like a parent with him because if not, he won't eat dinner. I say, like, yeah, I'm starving to death. And then I like when I cook, it. he'll go and won't eat I'll nothing. i eat the hell out of it. Yeah. I know you will because you ain't getting it. In the South, we don't play games like that down here. We eat. And there's one part way full. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to cover the rest of the sauce and more cheese. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's going to be good. Let's Let's get until it's going around. There's yeah. a wine pot if you need to dry around that stuff because it was hot. Okay, you guys, let's pour some more sauce. Okay, Dad, we got to put this in the fridge for me. Use this one. Yeah. I like that one pizza sticks that's just killer guy like that. I gotta put it in front of the new orange juice. Huh? Put it in front of the new orange juice on the top. Oh, it's good. Do I? It what? Yeah, Clean that up with my hands over there. Clean that up. 
corner of that pocket part. Goodness gracious, what am I going to twist and tolerate? I wish your mama was still alive so she could sit here and eat with us tonight. She would be crazy over this. Did I ever did I ever cook this with her dog? Well, y'all, this has been Robert's Country Cooking, and I hope you enjoyed the show this evening. I showed you how to make um, manicotti, country style, and uh, try you some. It was, it's very good. And uh, you can like, comment, share, and please subscribe. Um, all your subscriptions to the channel is very helpful. Thank you so much if you do. God bless all of you. We love you and pray for us. We will be praying for y'all. And um, and we'll talk to you later. God bless. Good night now.